I try to keep our little Christmas area set up, but the boys come along and move it every day. Quinn is trying to find number eight. That's it. Right, put it in. Eight days until Christmas. So this time next week, it's going to be Christmas Eve. Are you excited, Ears? Look at this cute Grinch nappy. The cutest Grinch nappy. All right, you can open number 17 because today is the 17th. I want to open 17. Yep. No! Oh, look at the pictures. What do you think we're making? Gingerbread. Today we're going to bake some gingerbread. gingerbread cookies. And if we have time, we're also going to make <coughs> some chocolates. Oh dear, Ezra is still coughing. Right, get the box out. Let's see what's in the box. Oh, my box. Oh, that's what I put. Oh, ah. I put number 16 up mistake. We forgot about it. So the shepherds went quickly and found Mary, Joseph, and the baby. Yay, the shepherds have found them. Micah has some cookie cutters. Um, Auntie Raylene sent us these special ones last year. And we have some chocolate molds. We're gonna make some milk chocolate and peppermint and dark chocolate and orange, I think, for our chocolates. And then tomorrow, um, we are going to see if I can find some boxes. And tomorrow we're gonna gift all our cookies to some neighbors. But we have to make them first. I don't know how good you guys will be, but we'll see how we go. Micah's got his Disney nappy on. on you can reach on your knees, how clever. Right, let's go get some breakfast, tidy up a bit, and then we can make some gingerbread cookies. Good plan? Great. Hi, I am wearing the dress I wore last year on Christmas Day. It's quite a warm, humid day inside. Um, I completely forgot, because um, we were planning on doing our gingerbread, which I think we'll still do. Um, we got a notice to say that our power was going to be off between 9am and 5pm. And then some guys knocked at my door and said they're not doing it today. Because I'd completely forgotten about it until they showed up. So I was like, oh that's good because I want to use the oven. So, yay, power is still on. The boys are just finishing their morning tea snacks. Looks like Quinn is finished. Popcorn. How fun. Pop Popcorn. And yes, popcorn is a choking hazard for under fives, but I give it to my children anyway. Quinn has this thing about being the winner and always wanting to finish first. Anyway, um, we called Nana this morning and talked about how we're going to see her soon next weekend. Because it's Christmas next weekend, oh my gosh. Um, if anyone no else feel like that, like they don't feel like it's Christmas because you're still working, like I'm working up until Thursday. And then Friday is Christmas Eve, and then Saturday is Christmas Day. I feel like I won't feel like it's Christmas until Christmas Eve, and I start wrapping presents and everything. Um, and I was going to do wrapping presents in our advent calendar, but I thought like it might be a bit hard for Quinn, and I don't want him to tell people what we've got. And yeah, so maybe next year we'll do wrapping presents together. Um, and I think next year I might get the boys to buy for each other when the twins are a bit old enough to understand about buying for other people and giving to other people. Um, but yeah, so gingerbread men today. No, I don't think we're going to do gingerbread men. It'll be more like Christmas trees and stuff. And I have to figure out icing. I might call my sister because I want to ice them because we have cool Christmas sprinkles. But I'm really not good with icing and I've made a lot of mistakes with icing before. So we will figure it out together. Please don't pour water on your tray. Um, we're making gingerbread today, and apparently, hey, no more And apparently, um, we and my mum are gonna make gingerbread. Uh, we need ginger. We need flour. Coal. We need ginger and flour. What ingredients? Um, cinnamon, brown sugar. I heard you say flour. Yeah. I heard you say ginger. I, we... I said flour. Cinnamon. Look. Oh, baking soda. Yes. 
also important so they rise a bit can i shut this please Micah? record it so we have a few different cookie cutter shapes um we've got a tree which i think will be our main one um we have a few different stars so we could do a few different ones there this is like the christmas star um and then we also have a bell which i feel is quite cool and then these Mom, ones Right. It'll like stamp. A Santa and a gingerbread, so we can do a couple of them. Um, so the main reason we're making these is to actually give away to family and friends. Um, we will keep some for ourselves because obviously the boys will want some. I thought they could give some to their teachers. Um, and then I want to do chocolates as well, which I think I will do because it obviously requires a hot stove. I think you can do them in the microwave, but it's not as good. We're going to hold the spoon. Okay. Um, so we will see how we go. Uh, I think I can get between 30 and 40 cookies out of one batch, depending on how thin I do them. We'll see. Um, I made, how many did we make for, I made them for our preschool Christmas party, and I think I made like 50 per room. So I probably made like 200 cookies-ish. No, just under that. Maybe I made like 150. It's really doable with a few batches. We have enough brown sugar now. Let's get going! Alright, so here's my finished dough, uh, my first batch. Um, best rule is always take your rings off before you do it because it gets messy when you're um, mixing it together with your hands. Um, this mixture is a bit wet compared to what I normally have but I always add more flour before I roll it anyway. Um, so for those wanting to know it's two cups of flour, sifted, one cup of brown sugar, I think it's meant to be half a teaspoon of cinnamon and ginger but I always add at least a tablespoon and put lots more in so you can get that nice ginger and cinnamon flavour. Um, and then a half teaspoon of baking soda, I normally add whole teaspoon of baking soda because then they rise a bit better um, 150 grams of butter but I've recently started using um, olivani or olive spread because then it is dairy free for anyone with allergies we don't have allergies but then the option is there and especially because we're going to be giving this away um, and then an egg as well um, and then you mix them all together obviously Sorry, I just had to interrupt the boys because they were playing with the cat food. Um, so yes, obviously you mix it all together and then you need to put the dough into the fridge for half an hour. Um, and then you can start rolling it out and cutting it. Um, and we'll see how much May Quinn ended up spilling a bit of the mixture. So we might not get as much out of this one, but that's okay. And I think I just used the last egg, so we may need to wait... Oh no, we've got three eggs, but I don't have much flour left, so I need to go buy some more flour before we can make any more batches. But one batch should give me quite a few cookies anyway. So yeah, we will keep going and see see how it goes. Hi. Um. So while the boys were eating their lunch, I've quickly rolled and cut out the first lot to go in the oven. So I've got a range of stars, Christmas trees. I tried the stamp. I think I'm going to have to use a knife to cut around it and then try indenting it because they are going to be more like circle cookies because these are really thin so I think they're going to burn easy so these are my testers and I won't be able to ice them so they'll just be plain gingerbread which I think is fine but we'll see how these turn out in 10 minutes yeah and then you pick it up and do some more Alright, okay, do some more. You gotta fill up this whole area of gingerbread and then I'll um, put them onto the baking tray for you. Oh, can I do this one? Yeah, you can. Oh. 
And you're going to do one more Santa up there? Yep. Great, pressing hard. All right, good job. So now I'm going to put them onto the baking tray when our next lot come out, okay? Yeah, do that. And what did you just ask for? Um, please. Um, no, please, could you watch? What? What did you want to watch? The Grinch. <laughs> How many times have we seen The Grinch this month? Um, ten. I think at least five. <laughs> But you want to watch The Grinch? Yeah. Alright, come on then. <laughs> Look how happy he is. <laughs> Do you love it? Yeah. Oh dear. I don't know if I told you um, the story about this, but um, I showed him this one last year, and even as a two and a half year old, he loved it. Like I think that was the first... Apart from that and The Secret Life of Pets was the first movie that Quinn ever sat through and watched the whole thing. Um, and so he watched that one last year and loved it. This year, only the original How the Grinch Stole Christmas is on Netflix. Um, and so I had to purchase that on Google Play. And they on Google Play they have an option of either rent it for like $5 or buy it for, it might be like 20 or 25 and I was like, do I rent it or buy it? Because if you rent it, you only get it for 48 hours um, from the time that you start playing it. And I was like, I bet he's going to want to watch it more than once. So I purchased it. So it's now on my Google Play forever. And yeah, we've watched it now. As I said, this is probably the sixth time. Or seventh, who knows, I lost count. Um, but he loves it. It's quite funny. I love the animated version. Um, when we watched the Polar Express, I only rented it because... I wasn't sure if they were going to like it or not, and Quinn got scared of the train skidding on the ice. Um, but that's alright. Um, we haven't really ventured out to many other Christmas movies. He watched a little bit of Arthur Christmas, but didn't get through the whole one. But yeah, first lot of gingerbread is about to come out, so I will show you them. Yay! So here are the first cooked pieces of gingerbread. As I said, if you add a bit more baking soda, they do kind of puff up a bit, which I like. These ones are going to be a bit harder oh they're still a little bit soft nice um so i'm going to cook the rest of this batch wait till they cool down later this afternoon and then ice them and i might wait and do another batch tomorrow i also have my chocolates that i need to make so i might try to do that now um the twins are in bed well very bright the twins are in bed quinn is watching the movie so I'll try to get as much of this done as I can. Look what he did. He knocked that clock over. He knocked that clock over. This is your favourite bit, isn't it? Quinn just finds him hilarious. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so I actually managed to get 56 cookies baked. Um, which is very impressive out of one batch so I don't think I'll need any more um, we will ice them later I'll do it with um, Quinn he's really to do the chocolate. Um, I've already made one lot of chocolates you can help me do the next one if you like yeah. um, and you can help me ice the biscuits later um, so I did end up melting the chocolates in the microwave I just thought it'd be quicker um, and it turned out all right. Some of it was a bit lumpy because like, um, I don't think I stirred it well enough. Once I realized that I needed to keep stirring it, it melted properly. Um, so some of them might be a bit lumpy, but I'm only giving them to neighbors anyway. I'm sure they won't care and they'll still eat them anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping 50 cookies will be enough. I'm not sure how I'm gonna put them into boxes and stuff yet, but we'll have to figure it out. Are you supposed to have your bike inside? Just um, making our icing and I'm just going to put a bit of green for our Christmas trees. I really don't want too much so. Oh she put green Let's in Let's try this much first. Yeah. Though I also don't want it too pastely, you know. Mum, it was pasty. Fast 
so my chocolate doesn't melt, but um, I've got a good thing going on right now. So I forgot that I got white chocolate that I actually wanted to drizzle on top. All right, you can do the sprinkles. A few on top, each one. Oh, get it all over. Just do a very gentle shake like this. Okay, I've got a few more coming. Okay. Christmas tree. <laughs> Alright, well that was a bit scary because I had to work fast, but turned out way better. Um, my white chocolate melted way better than my milk chocolate did for my actual chocolates. So that's what I've done with the Christmas trees. Bell was not good. And then the stars. So I only did half because I feel like it looks prettier. And then Quinn did all of the star sprinkles on those ones. Um, this is one of the chocolates and how they turned out. Um, so this is a milk chocolate and peppermint. Are you going to focus? And for some reason this little dude's eyes didn't come out very well. Um, but I just remembered I bought two packets of the milk chocolate melts. So tomorrow's a new day. I think we'll try the chocolates tomorrow. Because I need to get started on dinner for the boys. Um, so I think I'll redo the chocolates tomorrow and keep that batch for us. Just because I knew that they were going to be a bit lumpy. Like there were bits that didn't melt. So stirring it after and stirring it well afterwards. Like after melting it helped better. Um, and then that was the green ones that we started off with. So the boys might get them now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we'll leave that video here because I think I've got a lot of footage. Quinn helped decorate them. I'm sure our neighbours are going to love them these cookies i'm quite happy with how they turned out um tomorrow's video will most likely be christmas lights because that was meant to be today but we didn't know if we were going to do it um so i'll just put that into tomorrow's video and if i do more chocolates tomorrow i'll also put that into tomorrow's video and i will leave this as today's video so i hope you enjoyed doing that with us I think the boys had fun. Micah and Ezra were definitely more keen to get involved this time. Um, so yeah, we will catch you tomorrow with chocolates and Christmas lights. See you then. Just quickly before I forget, this is how the first batch of chocolates turned out. They're not actually too bad, but like Santa, the snowman and the teddy bear don't actually have eyes in the moulds. I realise what they are on that side. And that's like what makes it, so they don't actually turn out. Um, but anyway, there's some milk chocolate with peppermint, as I said. Micah is just running the lawn while we're here. Please stop. Um, so I don't know, I'll decide if I'm going to give these out as well. But yeah, they turned out okay. That's my thumbs up. I promise I will actually end this video, but I just thought I'd show you. The boys are eating their green Christmas tree gingerbread cookies. Are they yummy?